ইনশাল <laughs> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nice to see you brothers and sisters. We are going to do a little bit of revision again brothers and sisters. Ta wa a form 3. What is the meaning of ta wa a? Wafaka to agree. Ata a to obey. Wafaka is to agree. Ata a is to obey. Wafaka form 3. Ata a form 4. Huh? Okay? Now Al mutawatu is the master from tawa you tawiu and mutawiun is a smooth file what is the meaning of mutawiun in grammar that there is a verb and active voice <coughs> but with a passive voice meaning in relation uh, to another form of the same verb uh, okay a verb and active voice but with a passive meaning in relation to another form of the same verb so brothers and sisters we have here kasartu zujaja ha kasartu ha form 2 okay and then we say takassar zujaju i smashed the glasses to pieces the next meaning is the glass smashed, smashed to pieces who did it so that is because we don't know who did it it conveys the meaning of 
passive, majhul. Are you with me? It conveys the meaning of majhul. And you know in form 7, where the meaning of passive is conveyed, there is no mafulun bihi. It means they are intransitive. If there is no mafulun bihi means they are intransitive. Got the idea, brother and sister? Now here is another example. So there is a special relationship between form 2 and form 5. Now, fatahtul baba, form 1. Huh? When you bring it in form 7, in fatahal babu. So in other words, the mafulun bihi becomes the file. And the file is dropped. Huh? File gets dropped. Okay, brothers and sisters. I have written another, which is the relationship between <coughs> form 1 and form 8. Eh? Malatul huba. I fill the cup. And in form 8, what will happen? Imtala hubu. Kubu, file. The cup was filled. Eh? The same thing is rafatu thawta. I raised the voice. In form 8, it will become Irtafa sautu. The voice was raised, you know. So, in all these things, the file is two, which gets eliminated, which is omitted. Are you with me? So, this process is called al mutawa. Huh? So, signifying the meaning of mutawiyun verb. What is mutawiyun? A verb in an active voice, but with a passive meaning in relation to another form of the same verb. Right? This is all you have to remember, brother. And more example I have here. Alam tuhu, I taught him. What happened? He learned. Huh? So who mafulun bihi is the file in ta'allama. Huh? And zawashtuhu, I got him married. So what happened? He married. So where is who in here? Damir Mustafir. File. Remember? Akhartuhu. I delayed him. So what happened? He got delayed. Ta'akhara. Huh? Okay. So this is all you have to keep it in mind, brothers and sisters. Now, I'll quickly read, brothers and sisters, page 87 in the key. Hmm? This we are referring to form 5. Eh? This bab denotes, among other things, al mutawatu, which means that the object of a verb becomes the subject. Are you with me? The object of the verb in one form becomes the subject of the verb in another form. Okay? Example, zawajani Abi Zainaba. My father married me to Zainab. Here my father is the subject. Huh? And there are two objects, me and Zainab. Now if Bab Tafa'ala is used, form 5 is used, I become the subject. Huh? And Zainab remains object. And my father has no role uh, no role in it, brothers and sisters. So when you bring it in form 5, what will happen? Tazawashtu Zainab. I married Zainab. This is it, brothers and sisters. This is the meaning of al mutawa I give you one more example, brother. Are you with me? I am not writing, but you will understand. Eh? Allamani Bilalun. What is the meaning of it? Allamani Bilalun. The Bilal. Bilal taught me Allugat al Arbiya. Bilal taught me uh, Arabic language. Now I bring it in form 5. Ta'allamtu Lugat al Arbiya. I learned. Lugat al-Arabiya. Are you with me? 
I give you one more example, brother. Allamani Muhammadun al Quran. Translation, brother. Muhammad taught me the Quran. Now I bring it in form five. The Allamtu al Quran. I learned Quran. So this process is called Mutawa. Are you with me? This process is called Mutawa. Inshallah, uh, you have noted it down. And uh, you will uh, keep this in mind, inshallah, brothers and sisters. And you will revise the key of book three whenever you get an opportunity. Revise it. Huh? And that way, gradually, these things that we are learning will become permanent part of your understanding and your memory, inshallah. So we come to number four now in our that's brothers and sisters. What is the page number, Sister Hafsa? 191. Yufidu bab in fa'ala al mutawata. Are you with me? Yufidu, what is yufidu? Afada yufidu. Bab in fa'ala indicates. Huh? Al Mutawa. It indicates Al Mutawa. And what is Al Mutawa? Huh? Okay, you understood that. Takulu Fatahtul Baba Fan Fataha. Fan Fataha. So it opened. Brother and sister, Al Baba is Bafulun B. It should become file. Has it become five? Huh? Has it become five? How do you know it is five? Damir Mustatir. Huh? Damir Mustatir. If you say in Fataha, what is the meaning of in Fataha? It opened. What is the meaning of in Fataha? It, it opens. So where is it? It is your file. Who are? And that returns to Bab, huh? fine, brother. Ta'amalil muthal, thum akmil nakis, brother and sister. Al muthal, fatahtul baba, in fatahal babu. Got the idea, brother and sisters? Kasar tu al kuba. Are you with me, brother and sisters? Kasar tu al kuba. What is the meaning of this sentence? I did not smash. I just broke. Huh? I did not smash. I just broke. Huh? What will be when you bring it into form uh, seven? In kasar al kub, the the cup broke. Huh? In kasar al kub. So can you see the mafulun bihi change into fire? Katatul huh? habla. I cut the rope. What happens? In Katal Hablu. The rope got cut. Fine, brother and sister. Kalabtul Kitaba. I overturned the book. Kalabtul Kitaba. So what happened now? In Kalabal Kitabu. The book overturned. Hazam al Muslimun al Kufara. The Muslims defeated the Kufar. How will you say it in form seven, brothers and sisters? In Hazam al Kufar. The Kufars were defeated. Mutawiyu Fa'ala. What is Fa'ala, brother? Form one. Are you with me? Mutawiyu Fa'ala in Fa'ala. In other words, in fa'ala, obeys fa'ala. Are you with me? Inshallah. Kama raita, as you saw. Amma fa'ala, fa mutawi'uhu tafa'ala. So, form one has a relation with form seven. 
and form 2 has a relation with form 5. And what kind of a relation? That the mafulun bihi becomes the file in other form and conveys the meaning of passive, even though it is active. Are you with me? The verb is active, but it conveys the meaning of passive. Tamalil misala, sum akmalil nakas, kasar tu zujaja, takasara zujaju. We just had a talk about it a little while ago. Now you do it, brother. Katatul habla, takatal hablu. Mashallah. Okay, this is done, brother. A in kasara changes into an kasara. Okay. If a dakhalat hamzatul istifam ala infaala, who zifat hamzatul wasal? Hamzatul wasal is dropped. Is it clear, brother and sister? This is very easy. Huh? Because hamzatul wasal cannot be pronounced if something comes in front of it. So as it is not pronounced, it is dropped. Okay, brothers and sisters. In writing also. In pronunciation as well as in writing. But you have to use your voice to indicate that it is a question. Ankasara. What is the meaning of, if I only say Ankasara, did it break? Did it break? Fine, brothers and sisters. Now watch these sentences very carefully. Okay, brothers and sisters. Adkhil Hamzat al istifam. Ala al-jumal al-atiyati. In kalabat al-sayaratu. How will you say now? An kalabat al-sayaratu. An kalabat al-sayaratu. And a question mark. Because when you use hamzatul istifam, you got to use question mark. Fine. In fataha babul matami. How will you say? An fataha babul matami. Did the door of the restaurant open? Number third, in hazama mushrikoon. What will you say now? An hazama al mushrikoon. Fine. Aslama abuka. What will you do now? Aslama. This is a trick here for you. You will use the same thing, but no, not here. Form four. Aslama. No, you got to use. Because Aslama has got Hamzatul Kata, not Hamzatul Wasal. Huh? Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Now, we have to get ready to find out Madi, Mudarya, Amr, and uh, Ismu Fail and Mastar. Waka al Kubu al al Ard. What is the meaning of this sentence, brother? Waka to, to fall down. Okay? Waka al kubu, the, the cup fell on the ground. Waka al kubu al al means the cup fell on the ground. So what happened? One kasara, it broke. Got the idea? So what is one kasara? In, in kasara is maadi. Hazal babu. La yanfatihu. This door doesn't open. It doesn't open. So let us analyze it. Haza, Muktada, Al Babu, Badal, La La Nafia. This is La Nafia. Yanfatihu, Fialun Mudaryun, Marfun Bidamma. Fail Mustatir, Takdiru, Hua. Yadulu Allah Bab. Translation, brother? This door does not open. That's it. Therefore, Udhul enter Min Babil Akhari. Enter from the other door. Number third, brother, this is a nice verb. Tantafiyu Anwaru Shawari. What is the meaning of this? Anwaru shawari. What is the meaning of this? Anwaru shawari. 
street lights, eh? you know, on all the streets, lights of all the streets. Tantafiu, switched off. Eh? What is the verb? Intafa. Intafa. Got the idea? Madi is intafa. Okay, maybe I should write it down, brother. Eh? What is the Madi? In how will you write down? In tafa to switch off. Yan tafiu. How will you write down yan tafiu? Yan ta fi uh, and then oh no dots, brothers and sisters. On the ya. Why? Because it is only a kursi. It is only a kursi for Hamza. Because before Hamza comes Kasra. Yantafi'u. Tantafi'u anwaru shawari. Fisa'atil khamisati. Sabahan. At five o'clock in the morning okay sababun kilabi sababun kilabi sayarati what is the meaning of this sababun kilabi sayarati the reason of the overturning of car right? in kilab is to overturn right? sababu what is sababu brothers and sisters muftida muftida wa huwa Mudaf. Where is Mudaf Ilai? Inkilab. What is Inkilab? Master. Huh? Inkalaba, Inkilab. Huh? Okay. Wahua Mudaf. And Sayarati? Mudaf Ilai. Okay. Where is the Khabar now? Yes. Infijar. Infajara. What is the meaning of Infajara? To explode. What is the meaning of Infajara? To explode. Huh? Blow out. Eheda ajala tihi. Eheda ajala tihi. Sababun kila will sayarati. The reason of overturning of the car is the explosion of one of the tires. Ajalati is tires. This is plural. Eheda one of the one of its tires. Huh? Okay. The reason for overturning of the car is the blowing up of one of its tires. In Fijaru is your khabar. Wahua mudaf. Where is mudaf ilahi? Ihda. Wahua mudaf. Where is mudaf ilahi? Ajalati. Wahua mudaf. Where is mudaf ilahi? Ha, final mudafili, definite uh, noun, ha. Got the idea? Inshallah. In hazam al mushrikuna fi gazwati badrin. What is the meaning of this, brother? The mushriks were defeated in the battle of Badr. Huh? The mushriks were defeated huh? in the battle of Badar. Takharraja fil mahadil amal munsarima al amal munsarima. Brother, what is al am? Zar. Huh? And al munsarima is your naat. Huh? What is the meaning of al munsarima? Mahdi. The year passed by. Are you with me? Uh, the year gone by. Huh? The year which elapsed. Al Amal Munsarima. So, what is Munsarima? Asam Fai. Okay? The year gone by. Okay? Takharraja fil Mahadi. Al Amal Munsarima. Bidatun 
وسلاسون طالبان اوکی بدن سیسترز بدر حسن تخرجا what kind of a verb is this form 5 huh? what is the meaning of تخرجا he graduated huh? where is the file now you have to look to the whole sentence Brother Muhammad, where is the file? Bidatun is your file. Bidatun, see, file is marfu. So you got to look. Bidatun. What is the meaning of bidatun, brother? Write it down. This is a nice verb. This is muzakkar. And Bidatun is Mu'annas. Several, or even say few. Okay? Or even you can say some. In English we say more than 30. How many more? Few more than 30. Are you with me? How do you say in then Arabic? Bidatun or Bidun. Okay. Now, look at the sentence, brothers and sisters. Bidatun is your file. Huh? What is the meaning of the sentence? Takharraja fil mahadi al amal munsarima. The year gone by, last year or past year. Huh? More than 30 students graduated. Are you with me? You got the meaning? More than 30 students graduated. Okay, brother. Now we come to Bidatun. What is Bidatun? File. Huh? And then Harfu Atf. And what is Salathuna? Ma'atufun ala Bidatun. And what is Taliban? Tamiz. Huh? Okay, brother, look at it. If the ma'adud is muzakkar, the number becomes mu'annas. That is why it is bid'atun. Okay, now let us change the ma'adud. And let us say, talibatan. Now what will happen to the sentence? Takharrajat, we will say. Okay, are you with me? And what will happen to this? Bid'un. Write down, brother, in your note. Huh? What will you write down? Bidun wa salathuna talibatan. What will you write, brothers and sisters? Bidun wa salathuna talibatan. Because now talibatan is madud, mu'annas, so we have to make it, then adad, muzakkar, bidun. These are all small, small things. But they are very important to keep it in mind. Very good, brothers and sisters. Safar al farikul monahazimu. Translation, brother. Safara, you know Safara. Form? Form three. Okay. Farik is a team. Monahazim, the losing team, the team which was defeated. Huh? So what will you say in your translation? The losing team left or traveled. Huh? Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Alhamdulillah. Now comes another very beautiful and important thing. In Kasafat Shamsu, Yawma Mata Ibrahim. Okay. See Yawma. This is your zarf. Here. It comes as a mudaf. We don't say it is mudaf, but we understand it as a mudaf. Where is mudaf ilahi? The whole sentence. The whole jumla failure, brother, will come as a mudaf ilahi. Now, this style comes in the Quran a lot. And we got to understand it well, brother and sisters. So, brother and sisters, mata. Fialun Madin Babnin Allah Fata Ibrahimu File Al Jumlatul Fialiatu Fi Mahali Jarrin 
mudafilahi. That's the way you will say it. Huh? Okay. In Kasafatish Shamsu, the sun was eclipsed the day Ibrahim died. Huh? So you will be watching this kind of a construction in the Quran also, brothers and sisters. Huna al Jumlatu Mata Ibrahimu Mudafun Ilaiha. Wahiya fi mahalli jarrin. Wa yawma mudafun. Ha amsilatan ukhara. Khud, take more example. Safartu yawma zahratin nataiju. What is the meaning of this? Zahratin nataiju. I travel the day the results were appeared. Huh? Or the results were announced or declared, but appeared is the right translation here. I travel the day results appeared. So, but then what is it? Yauma Zarf. Are you with me? And then Zahara Fiel Mahdi. Ta 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 nisi. And where is the file? Nataij. Huh? What is the meaning of Nataij? Results. Singular. Natija. Huh? It's in Urdu also. You know it. Huh? Next sentence, brother. Marittu. What is the meaning of marittu? I became sick. I got sick. Marittu yauma. I got sick the day. What happened on that day? Zar al waziru al jamiata. The minister visited the university. Okay? So marittu yauma. Zar al Waziru Jamia. Very good, brothers and sisters. You understand now? So, Zara is your Felu Madin, Mabnun al Afata, Al Waziru, File, Marfu'un, and Al Jamiata, Mafu'un bihi. MashaAllah. Wa Al Jumlatul Fialiyatu, Fi Mahalli Jar, Mudafilehi. Wulittu. What is the meaning of Wulittu? I was born. I was born. Brother, what kind of a verb is this? Majhul. Where is knife file, Brother Hassan? Tu. Tu. Wulittu. Tu is your knife file. Wulittu. I was born. Brothers and sisters, Wulittu. Yauma, the day. What happened on that day? Mata Jaddi. Where is the file of Mata? Jaddu. Jaddu. Huh? Huh? So that is the way it is, brothers and sisters. A Jumla failure can come after Zarf and it will be, the whole Jumla will be Mudafili. Okay? Now see, the beauty of book three, that more verses of Quran are brought to us. Eh? So that we can un- see those things straight into the verses of the Quran. Fit Tanzili. Tanzili is the Quran, brother. Haza. What is Haza? Muptita. And what is Yaumu? Khabar. It is khabar. Huh? It is your khabar. Huh? What is the meaning of? This is the day. This is the day. Okay? Fine. Now after Yaumu, brothers and sisters, you, you know, I will not call it zarf now. Because zarf has to be mansoor. Huh? Zarf has to be, do you know that? Or you don't know this. Zarf has to be mansu. Huh? So here it is not zarf. Brother. Here it is a noun. Are you with me, brother and sister? Haza, this is the day. Okay, now it is coming as a mudaf. Bahuwa mudaf. We can say here, huwa mudaf. Where is mudaf ilahi, brother and sisters? Yanfau sadikina 
Sidakuhum. Brother Muhammad, Yanfau. What is the meaning of Yanfau? What is Madi of Yanfau? Nafa. Nafa. Huh? Nafa. Yanfau. Mashallah. What is the meaning of Nafa? To benefit. Huh? To benefit. Okay. Where is the file of Yanfau? Nobody will answer. No. Look at the sentence. You got to look at the sentence. Huh? No, that is that is not Marfu, brother. Still go further. What is left now? <laughs> Sitko. See, can you see Marfu? That's the way we are going to understand the Quran, brother. You will read it thoroughly. Huh? So where is the file of Yanfau? Sidku whom? Huh? And what is and what is uh, Sadh Kina? Huh? Mafulun bihi. Uh, it is mafulun bihi, brothers and sisters. Sidku, brothers and sisters, here is truthfulness. Huh? Honesty. Truthfulness and honesty. This is the day. Huh? The honesty of them hmm, will benefit okay, those who were truthful. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Who their honesty will benefit those who are truthful. So, sadikun, sadikuna, sadikina. Okay? Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Their truthfulness will benefit the truthful people. Okay, brother? Here is another explanation of zarf uh, and mudafilihi. Yawma mata Ibrahimu takdiruhu Yawma Mauti Ibrahima. Huh? Mata became Mauti. Got the idea? Inshallah. Now you see, Mauti is a noun. It's a master. Okay? So you got it. Huh? Now, brothers and sisters, we are going to learn the next thing, which is very, very interesting in detail, Inshallah. Brothers and sisters, I wrote down on the board. Hmm? Don't tell me you forgot this also. Huh? What is love? Harf imtinai, lim tenai. What happens in the love? The first one. Brother, it is harf. Huh? It indicates that the second thing failed to materialize because the first thing did not happen. Huh? Okay? Okay. Love ishtahatta la najahta. The second thing, najahta, you did not succeed, did not materialize, did not happen because the first thing did not happen. You did not work hard. Huh? That's the way 
it is to be understood. Always in these two cases, we'll start with the second thing first. Remember, love, la is one word, not two. One word. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Love, la is one word. Now, what is the meaning of love, la? Again, it is harfu imtenai. What is imtenai? In order, what is imtenai? Master. From form, from form it. What is the word? Imtana'a. What is the meaning of imtana? To become impossible. To be or become impossible. Huh? Well, inshallah, you will recollect your uh, thoughts. So, harfu imtana'i. Again, harfu imtana'i goes to the second thing. Li wujudi is the first thing. Imtana hudusul fi'alithani. The second action did, did not happen or it became impossible, did not happen. Why? Li wujudi fi'alil awal. Because of the presence of the first. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So please remember this. Now we are going to study the lesson. Is it clear? No, because you need an example. You need an example. Okay? Let us I write down the example. That will make more sense, inshallah. I am writing this from the dars. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? A salima rukabu. A salima rukabu. Did the passenger survive? Were they safe? What was the answer? Naam. Salimu. Can you go into the main lesson, brothers and sisters, of uh, lesson 22? Can you find it? As Salima Rukabu, were the passenger safe? Did they escape injury? Huh? We are talking about the main lesson. Huh? What is the 188? What is the next line? Naam. 189. I have a different book. My notes are in a different book, brother and sister. Naam Salimu. They, they escaped. They survived. They were safe. Okay. Well, alhamdulillah. What is the next line, brother? Laula. Fadlullahi alayhim lamatu. But for the grace of Allah. Huh? But for the grace of Allah, they would have died. But they did not die. Intana hudusi fi'alithani. The jawab which is fi'alithani. Huh? Or the action you can say. It did not take place. They did not <laughs> die. Why is it that they did not die? Because the first thing was Maujud. What was Maujud? Fadlullah was Maujud. Are you with me? Is it clear? Brother Hassan? Brother Muhammad? Because the Fadlullah was there, okay, therefore they did not die. So we say, Lavla. Now you can say, if the grace of Allah was not there, they would have died. Are you with me? Fine, brothers and sisters. What is lawla? What is lawla? Harfu 
Im tenai li wujud. Always you will say this. Eh? Inshallah, when you will revise, often, brothers and sisters, uh, it will become part of your memory. I must remind you, brothers and sisters, this is an intensive course. Eh? There are things you will understand quickly. There are things you may not understand. Every single day we are coming here. Every single day we are learning more. And every single day you have to go home and revise. And if you can't revise, you will fall behind. My job is here to explain you as much as I can, brother. In all my sincerity. Huh? The rest lies in your court, brother and sister. You got to work hard. And remember, this is intensive course. We are trying to finish something in seven months, which normally takes more than two and a half years. And we are doing it in seven months. Okay? So you have to understand the pressure is there. Uh, you got to cope with it. Huh? You got to cope with it, inshallah. The, that's why I, my suggestion from the very beginning has been that you should become strong in conjugation. Okay? And the rest of the things, you make a note of it. And then, as you will re uh, revise them, things will become very clear. And now, to top this all off, you will get the DVDs. So that will help you, brother. Huh? This was not in the planning. It just happened all of a sudden. That the idea was put forth in, in our committee, and our committee said that if this is going to benefit the students, let's do it. So inshallah, when the DVDs will come out, you will then be able to revise it at your own pace. There will be no pressure on you. Inshallah. Okay. But right now, you should be ready to you know, work hard as much as you can. There are only 14 lessons left. You have come a long way. And if you reflect on what you have learned in this last six months, brothers and sisters, you have learned a lot. You came here with nothing. And you learned a lot. Now, do you want to give up? No, brothers and sisters, work hard. Do not, do not be, become lazy. Work hard, brothers and sisters. No excuses. Huh? No excuses. Just work hard, brothers and sisters. So, you will always say, Lao, hafim tenai, lim tenai. This is a technical grammar term. Lao, la, Harfum tenai li wujud. Brother, what is wujud? Wajada huh? wujud. Something which is found. Okay? Which is present. Huh? Which is present. Okay, brothers and sisters. After lao, la, muftada will come. What will come? Muftada. Now we are all very strong in muftada. Whenever I say, Muftada will come. I see smiles on your faces. Because it's easy. We will understand it. Huh? Where is Muftada, brother? Fadlu. Fadlu only. Wahuwa. Mudaf. Where is Mudaf ilayhi? Allah. Where is our khabar? Where is our khabar? The khabar is Daiman Mahzuf. Ma Daiman Mahzuf. If there is a Muftada, then the khabar will be always mazuf. And what will that khabar be? What is the khabar? Mawjudun. And that will be mazuf, brother. Khabarun. Khabarun, Khabarun, Mayadufun. Are you with me? Always. Okay, now, brothers and sisters, Alayhim is Jar Majur. The same rules. Allamu, Waqiyatun, Fi Jawab. Where is the Jawab? Matu. Where is the Jawab? Matu. So, Lam came. When will Lam come? If there is no negation. 
If there is a negation, then the lamb won't come. Now this is also a rule we have to remember. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? If you will read the sentences, keeping these rules in mind, it's very easy. And you will become very strong. Inshallah. So, La Matu came. Now, brothers and sisters, the jawab of Laula will always be, are you listening? Sister Mamuna, Sister Mana, the jawab of Laula will always be Fel Mahdi. Huh? Will always be Fel Mahdi. Huh? See? Laula harfu imtinai li wujud. Fadlu mubtada. Wa huwa mudaf. Allahi mudaf ilayhi. Where is the khabar? Mahzuf. What is the taqdiruhu? Mawjudun. Huh? And then la allamu fi jawab ishart. Waqiyatun fi jawab ishart. And where is the jawab? Matu. What is matu? Fihal maadi. Huh? Fihal maadi. Mabniun ala. Dhamma, where is the file? Al-Waw. Where is the file? Al-Waw. But these things are simple and easy. Huh? I hope you will remember it. Huh? There is nothing that cannot be understood. Because we have been doing this thing all along for the past few months. Where is the file? What is the fail? Huh? The only thing, if you are strong in your conjugation, you will have no difficulties. Fine. Did you understand this, brothers and sisters? Now we come to the number nine. Lawla fadlullahi alayhim lamatu. Lawla, page number? Sister Hafsa, page number? 190. 193. Huh? What is Lawla? Li And it directs you to, indicates you to uh, impossibility of the Jawab. Inshallah. Li wujud is shart. Because of the presence of the shart. And what is the shart? Fadlullah. It is your shart. It is present. That is why the jawab becomes impossible. It will not materialize. It will not take place. It will not happen. It will not occur. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Here is another beautiful example. Lawlal Hawaw. What is the meaning of this? Lawlal Hawaw. If there were no air, huh? or we can say in English, but for the air, what will you say? But for the air, what would have happened? Lahalakan nasu, the people would have perished. They would have died. Did the people die? Why? Because the hawa is mawjud. Are you with me? Why the people did not? Perish? Why? Because the Hawa is mawjud. So, love, la, what will you say? Love, la, harfum tenai li wujud. Fine, brothers and sisters. And what is al hawau? Muftada. Where is the khabar? What is that khabar? Mawjudun. Mawjudun huh? is your khabar. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Hmm? And then the lamb has come because the jawab is affirmative. There is no negation. Okay, brothers and sisters. Halaka, sister Mamuna. Halaka, fiel maadi. Remember, the verb in the jawab has to be maadi. And what is a nasu? What is a nasu, brother Hassan? Halaka nasu, five. Five. You got to understand this, brother. Inshallah. That is to say, wujid al hawau, the hawa is found. Are you with me? Falam yahlakin nasu. So the people did not 
perish. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Now remember the next thing, brother. وَتَعْتِ لَوْ مَا عَيْدًا بِهَذَا الْمَعْنَى So, you can have lavla or lavma. Same meaning. حَفْرِمْ تِنَائِ حَفْرِمْ تِنَائِ لِوُجُودٍ Are you with me, brothers and sisters, inshallah? Al ismul waqiu, the verb which is occurring, al waqiu occurring, ba'daha after it, what is it? Mubtada. Hudifa khabruhu. The khabar is omitted. Okay. Walawla hawa'u takdiruhu. Lawla hawa'u mawjudun. Highlight mawjudun. Do something about mawjud. So that when you revise, you understand. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? But for the air, that is what you will say, brothers and sisters. Okay. وَقَدْ تَعْتِي بَعْدَهَا And وَقَدْ تَعْتِي تَعْتِي is mudariya and kad has come. Means maybe huh? it can. Kattati huh? bada anna instead of mubtada, anna will come. And if an comes, what comes after it? Wasmuha wa khabruha. It is possible. Nahu. Laula annani maridun la safartu. What is the translation? But for the fact that I am sick. Huh? I would have traveled. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? But for the fact I am sick, huh? I would have traveled. Now, in this case, there is no room for khabar being mazuf. It does not apply here. The khabar mazuf will only apply if there is a muftada. Is there, is there any muftada here? No, brothers and sisters. What do we have after lavla? Huh? Anna. Huh? Min akhwatu inna. And if anna comes, then we have ism. Is there an ism? Yes, ya mutakalam. Is there a khabar? Yes, there is a khabar. And then lam came. Why? Jawab. Huh? Is there any negation? No, the lam has to come. And what is the verb, sister Mamuna? Madi. Madi. La safartu. I would have traveled. Alhamdulillah. You understood, inshallah, brothers and sisters? No, I forgot one word, brother. La safartu ma'aka. I would have traveled with you. Remember, I forgot ma'a. So the meaning is, I would have traveled with you. But for the fact that I am sick, I would have traveled with you. Uh, inshallah, you got it, brothers and sisters? Okay. Brothers and sisters, inshallah, you understood the concept of lavla. And so we are not reading the key. It's very easy for you to now follow the key, inshallah. Uh, but you will always remember in the case of love and lavla, you will start with the second thing, with the jawab. In the case of love, the second thing did not happen. Because the first thing did not happen. In Lawla, the second thing did not happen because the first thing was present. That's the difference, inshallah. You will always start with the second. You will always start with the jawab. Okay? And then come to the shart. What is the next sentence, brother? Wa jawabu hal muthbatu. What is musbatu? Affirmative. Jaktarinu bil lam. Then it is connected with lam. If the jawab is affirmative, then it is connected with lam. Now, here is the Quran, brother. Law la antum, the kuffar, brother, will will blame others 
the people will blame on the Yom Al Qiyamah. Huh? What they will say? Laula antum lakunna mu'minin. If you were not there, we would have been moments, you know. They will say. Okay? So this is from Quran. Okay, brother, let us analyze. Laula or from Tanai Libujud. Huh? See, Antum, what is Antum? Muptada. Are you with me? Damirun Munfasilun. Marfu. Muptada. Where is the Khabar? Maujudun. Khabar is Maujudun. Lakunna moment. We would have been moment. If you had not been present, we would have been moment. But you were present and you misguided us. We, we, we went astray. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Fine. La kunna. I ask you, what is kunna? Brother uh, Muhammad, what is kunna? No. no, 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 no. Brother, uh, brother. Okay, Abir, what is kunna? Kana, mashallah, kana. Excellent. So what is it? Is? Fiyal Mahdi. Huh? Remember, Jawab has to be Fiyal Mahdi. Huh? Kunna. Okay. Kana. Kana. Kanu. Kanat. Kanata. Kunna. Kunta. Kuntuma. Kuntum. Kunti. Kuntuma. Kuntunna. Kuntu. Kunna. So where is Ismu Kana? Na. Huh? And where is the Khawar Kana? Huh? Mominina. What is this Mominina? Jama Muzakar Salam. And in what uh, condition it is? Mansu. Khabar Khana Mansu. So Mominuna became Mominina. So how will you define Mominina? Khabar Khana Mansubun wa alamatu nasbihi al yahu li annahu Jama Muzakar Salam. Brothers and sisters, these things should come to us now, quickly, in our mind. And if you will work hard, what shall I tell you? You will become masters, and you are going to enjoy it. You will become experts, and you'll, you are going to enjoy saying these things and, and understanding these things, inshallah. So the actual sentence is, Lawla antum mawjudun. Take more examples. Li Laula. For Laula. Laula Lichtibaru. What is Laulbaru? What is Ikhtibaru? Muftada. What is it? Examination. What is it now, Ikhtibar? Master from form. Eight. What is the verb? Ikhtabara yakhtabiru. Ikhtibar. Examination. But for the examination, you will say, or you can also say, had it not been for the examination, or you can say, but for the examination, ma hadartu al yawm. But that there is no la. Lam here. Why? Because it's negation. There is no need for lam. Mahadatu. Huh? Translation, brother. Had it not been for the examination, I would not have attended. Find them? I, I attended because there is an examination. Laula shamsu. Laula shamsu maujudun. Huh? But for the sun, lahalakatil ardu. Translation, brother. If it had not been for the sun, the earth would have perished. Huh? Are you with me? So look at the jawab. Lam came because it is a no negation here, affirmation, and halaka is the verb madi. Huh? And halakatish, tautanisi, and where is the file? 
al ardu. The file is al ardu. Very good, Roger. Oh, what is this, brothers and sisters? Laulal hayau, la wakaina. What is this, brother? What is haya? What is haya? What do you call haya in English? Shame, shyness, modesty. It is also modesty. Laulal hayau, la wakaina. What is the translation? But for the modesty, huh, we would have wept. We would have wept. So, lam came, brother. And what kind of a verb is it? Madi. Huh? Baka yabki. Bakaina. Huh? So, laulal hayau maujudum. Huh? La bakaina. Okay. I have a very beautiful example to give you. My teacher had, uh, when this thing came, uh, he knew I used to enjoy poetry. So he gave me an Arabic poetry, a very old Arabic poetry. I'm going to write it, brother. You are going to like it, inshallah. Laula, now comes Anna. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Laula, Anna. So, brother, raise the Ismu Anna. Ka. Where is Khabar? Mustajilun. Laula annaka mustajilun. But for the fact you are in hurry, la the autuka ilal baiti. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Laula annaka mustajilun, la the autuka ilal baiti. I would have invited you to the house. But since you are busy, I am not inviting you. Huh? And here, there is no case of khabar being ma'zuf. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Now let me write down this example, brother. Did you write it, brothers and sisters? Okay, brothers and sisters. Li Jaririn. What is the meaning of Li Jaririn? Jaririn is the name of the poet. When you say Li, means he wrote it. Huh? Brothers and sisters, this is a goes to the you know time of uh, uh, the Khilafat of uh, Umayyads. You know. You know, the Arabic literature, brothers and sisters, and Arabic poetry is nothing new. It's 2,000 years old, maybe more than that. The art of poetry was so 
common and prevalent in the Arab society before the advent of Islam, before the coming of Islam, the art of Arabic was very prevalent. Everybody knew the language very well. Everybody enjoyed it. And the poets were uh, the elite of the society. Huh? And they were given honor as a you know, special, special high positions in the society. So the, the, the present day English is only 500 year old, brother. But the, the rest of the world then copied the art of poetry from Arabs. There may be other uh, you know, cultures too with poetry, but Arabs were very much ahead of everybody. So brother and sisters, Jarir's wife died and he loved her very much. Huh? And he wrote many poetries uh, in her honor. But in this he says, you know, Laulal Hayahu, had it not been for the modesty and shyness, Laadani Istevaru. What is the meaning of Laadani Istevaru? La Bakaitu Alaika. I would have wept. Uh, for you in front of everybody. You passed away and I kept quiet because I was shy to cry. Huh? Okay, brothers and sisters, la'ad. Now you have to tell me. Lahu, harfim tenai, livujud, alhayahu, muftida. Where is the khabar? Mahzuf, what is the meaning of that? Maujudun. Huh? Okay, then Lam came. Lam is for Jawab. Huh? Now, where is the Jawab? Ada. Felmati. Huh? Ada. What is the meaning of Ada? Raja. Huh? Return. Huh? Huh? Adani. Huh? Nun Vikaya and Ya Mutakalim is your Mafulunbi. Ni is the author. I mean, Yamata Kalam is the author. What is this, brother? Istiabar. What kind of a verb is this? At least you know it is form 10. You know it is master. And you know it is form 10. MashaAllah. See, all these things help. Now, you knew it is form 10. You also knew it is master. But you did not know the meaning. This is going to be our status when we will study Quran. We'll figure out everything. The only thing which will lack will be our vocabs. And then you have to go to the dictionary and find out the vocabs. And we have the word by word meaning of the Quran by Dr. Moharali from England. And that helps you a lot. Huh? It's just masterpiece, brothers and sisters. So, brothers and sisters, I write here. What is the meaning of istabara? To cry. <laughs> to cry. Huh? So what will be the istabar? Bukaun. What will be? Bukaun. Huh? Baka. What will be the master? Bukaun. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Hmm? So, laulal haya laadani istibaru means the crying would come. I would be weeping openly for you. Huh? Had it not been for the, for the modesty and shyness, I would have wept for you openly in front of everybody. But I don't do that. Wala zurtu kabraki. Wazurtu kabraki. Again, huh? again, brothers and sisters, wow has come. So, atf. And what is la? Again, it, mautu fonala, the first one. Huh? 
لو لا حياو لا زرتو قبرك had it not been for the shyness and modesty i would visit your grave and cry there huh for you huh? see see the purity of love huh the purity and innocence of the love huh no vulgarness la zurtu so in other words la zurtu is mautufunala la ada are you with me brother and sister la zurtu kabraki wal habibu yuzaru what is al habibu here here al habib means mahbub what is it al habib means mahbub and the mahbub is visited you know it is normal for person to visit the loved ones are you with me now even you know it is normal to visit your mahbub the loved one but i don't visit why because of the haya are you with me so al habibu whether it applies to muannas and muzakkar together huh? and it means here al habib means bi ma'na ismu maful mahbub huh? you can write down bi ma'na mahbub Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Do you got the idea? This is a nice poem. Inshallah, you will. Yuzaru is majhul. Ji, yuzaru is majhul, huh? You know, it is uh, visited. Ha, ah. ah. ha. Okay. The, the you know it is normal uh, uh, that uh, loved ones are visited. The loved one is visited. Ha. Ah. Okay. inshallah okay brothers and sisters now we move forward i hope you liked it i i really loved it huh? this is a very beautiful poem inshallah law lal ilmu now you got to fill in the blanks brothers and sisters akmal ma yali complete the following what is it brothers and sisters law lal ilmu what would you say now la kunna jahilin ha la kunna jahilin we would have been jahils ignorance ha but for the knowledge we would have been ignorant well, now you can say anything you want ha huh, brother you want to say something else you can say that ha huh? you can also say by the sister laul al ilmu ha la jahil an nasu la jahil al nasu ha the the mankind would be ignorant brother very beautiful sentence now see now the exercises are here what does it mean you got to do it you got to write it you got to work on it because it is important huh, for us to do these things and get stronger laul al islam what would happen brother huh? la dal al nas the mankind would have been mankind would have gone astray la dal al nas la dal al nas huh? la yes dalan nas got the idea brothers and sisters inshallah now comes laula annaka maridun
But for the fact that you are sick, لا دعوتك إلى بيتي لولا أن البرد شديد see now uncomes with ism and khabar لولا أن البرد شديد what would happen Yes, mashallah. La zahabna ila suki. La zahabna ila suki. Yes. Alhamdulillah. See, now it is coming to you. You know, the answers are coming to you, inshallah. Is it correct, brother and sister? You got it? A good, good understanding here? What is next one, brother? Next one is halwa puri. What is next one? Huh? Halwa puri. What did I write, brothers and sisters? Man hazar rajulu. What is haza? And what is rajulu? Huh? Man hazar rajulu. Here, man is a khabar. And haza is muftida. Huh? Okay, man is a ismu istifam. Here it is khabar. Man hazar rajulu. Your answer will be hazar rajulu. So that indicates that the haza is muftida. Muftida in the first sentence and muftida in the Second sentence as your answer. Man hazar rajulu, hazar rajulu, mudarrisun. This man is a teacher. Fine. So man hazar rajulu, haza, muftada, and what is the rajulu? Badal. Now, brother and sister, manar rajulu haza. Now, what is haza? Not. Now, haza is a not. Now, haza is a not. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? That's it. That's your lesson. Okay? Man Ibrahimu haza. So haza is a naat. Haza huna naatun li Ibrahim. Yakunus musharati naatan izabaka baad al alam. If it occurs after the proper noun. Aw muarraf bilidafati. What is the meaning of muarraf? Maharifa. This is Muarraf is here. It's a mafool. It's a mafool. Huh? Or it becomes definite. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Belidafati. Now, let us see. We know, brothers and sisters, that Mudaf, Mudaf, Ilehi. Okay? Mudaf becomes definite huh? if the Mudaf, Ilehi is definite. And remember, Haza is definite. If haza comes as a naat, then manut has to be definite. Uh, and in mudaf, you don't see the sign of anything being definite. Huh? There is no al there in, in mudaf. So how do we know mudaf is definite? Because if the mudaf ilahi is definite, then we know mudaf is also definite. So this is the meaning of it. Aw muarraf bilidafati. Now, man... Hamidun haza. So haza is your naat. Huh? Arini saataki hazihi. Are you with me? Arini saataki hazihi. Brothers and sisters, look at it carefully. Ari amar. Felu amrin mabniun ala hazfi harfi illa. Fail mustatir. Takdiruhu anta. And what is this? Nunu vikaya. And ya mutakallam. What will I call it? Mafulun bihi number one. Huh? Mafulun bihi number one. Saata. Mafulun bihi number two. Wahua mudaf. And ka is mudaf ilahi. Now tell me, brothers and sisters, is saata 
Definite or indefinite? Why? I don't see Al. Ka, Zameen, the means are all definite. Huh? Remember, all pronouns are definite. This thing we must always remember. All pronouns are definite. Whether it is uh, Ismu Shara or Ismu Mausula or it is uh, Namir Munfasil, Namir Muttasil, all of them are definite. Brother. So, in, in other words, Sata is definite. So, the Nath has to be definite. Is Hazihi definite? Yes, it is definite. So, what is Hazihi? Is a Nath for Sata. Inshallah. Fine. Liman Jawazu Safari Haza. Whose passport is this? Okay. So Haza is, brother and sister, what is Haza? Nath. Nath for what? Jawazu. That's all. One more example. A maftuhatun gurfatul mudarisina tilka. Tilka. What is the meaning of tilka here, brother and sister? It's a nath. Nath for what? Gurfat. Are you with me? Yeah? Gurfat. Translation, brother. Is that of the teachers open? Okay, brothers and sisters. Now remember, whether man haza rajulu, man rajulu haza, translation will, in English translation, it will not change, brother. But only because Arabic grammar is very specific. When you write a sentence, number one, then haza is mubadal minhu. What is it? Huh? From where the badal comes. And what is in the second uh, sentence, haza is a naat. But translation wise, it will remain the same. Fine, brothers and sisters. With Tanzili now comes Quran, brothers and sisters. See this? Knowledge of ours will help us to understand Quran. What is it, brother? Idhab bi kitabi haza. What is the meaning of Idhab bi kitabi haza? Go with my book. Huh? Or take my book. Huh? Okay? Go with the letter. Okay? Here it is go with the letter. Huh? Brother, this is. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, go with the letter. It's not a book here. It's go with a letter. Go with my letter. How will you say? Go with a letter of mine. Okay. Wa alki ilayhim. What is what is alki? Uh, brother uh, Hassan, what is alki? We got to know it, brother. We must know it. Huh? Okay. Let me ask. Uh, I'll ask Sister Aisha. She's very quiet. Sister Aisha, what is alki? Uh, sister. Uh, she answered, what is it? Amar, mashallah, mashallah. Now tell me the verb. And the form. Alka, form for mashallah. But this is the way our, we should be strong now. And if we are weak, what is the solution? Just conjugate. Do your conjugation as much as you can, brother. So, brother. Alka. Yulki and the Amar will be Alki. Huh? And what is this Ha after Alki? Mafulun bihi. But it is a silent, you know. Okay? We are going, you know, how Sakti, silent Ha. Okay? When you stop at some place, then you uh, make it silent, brother. Ilayhim. Thumma and then Tawalla. What is this Tawalla? Sister Madina? Palm five, mashallah, mashallah. And what is this? Amar. What is the verb? 
Tavalla. What is it? Tavalla. Ya tavalla. Make it amar. Tavall. Tavalla. No, brothers and sisters, I've been repeating it for a long time. Strong, the more strong you are in verb, you are going to enjoy the Quran, study of Quran and everything. Otherwise, you will be struggling. And this course will make you very strong if you work hard, brothers and sisters. Okay. The ball is in your court. You take it and make a good use of it, brothers and sisters. Thumma tawalla. And then turn. Huh? Turn from them. Huh? Then return from them. Fine, brothers and sisters. Fil hadisi kal nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam la ali la ahujju bada ami hadha. Why is this hadith has come here? Because to tell us that hadha is a naat. Huh? Is it clear, brother? Hadha is a naat. Naat for what? Huh? Ami. Huh? For the year. Fine. Number 11, brothers and sisters. Number 11 is limah. Hadhi hausat. This is a silent ha. Wajuta bihi fil waqfi. And it is brought when you stop at reading, brother. Kama fi kawli ta'ala, wa ma adra kama hiya. It is brought when you stop, uh, then it becomes silent, brother. Fine, brother and sister. In shamsa wal kamara ayatani. How do you written, brother and sisters? In shamsa wal kamara ayatani. La yan kasifani. A damiru fi yan kasifani. What is the damir in yan kasifani, brothers and sisters? What is the damir? Aleph. Huma. Huh? Damir is aleph, which is five. But brother, it says yan kasifani. That is muzakkar. Are you with me? That is muzakkar. So, what happens, brothers and sisters? That we have a shams in a shamsa, which is muannas, well, kamara, which is muzakkar, and you use the verb muzakkar. Why? Huh? That is the rule in Arabic language, and it is called at taghlib. Huh? Taghlib. What is taghlib? Master. What is the verb? Ghallaba. You ghallibu. Taghlib. What is the meaning of taghlib, brothers and sisters? You treat the combination of the word monas and muzakkar as muzakkar. Huh? What is it, brother? To treat a combination of masculine and feminine elements as muzakkar. Write it down, inshallah. To treat the combination. Masculine and Got the idea, brothers and sisters? That's it. Huh? So, Yanka Sifani, Yaudu Ila Shams, Walkamar. It returns to both sun and moon. 
وَهُمَا مُوَنَسٌ وَمُذَكَرٌ And they are مُوَنَسٌ and مُذَكَرٌ وَجِيَا Brother Jia is Jia B. This is Majhul. Jia B means it is brought. Huh? Remember, brothers and sisters, Jaa, huh? Jaa Yajiu. Jaa, he came. But when you say Jaa B, to bring. Ata, to come. Ata B, to bring. So you see, for Jia B, and it is brought. Bilfel bi sigatil muzakkari tagliban. Are you with me, brother? So the form of muzakkar is brought. Huh? Tagliban means the treatment of monas and muzakkar. We take it as a masculine. That's it, brother. Sir. Yugallabul muzakkar wala monas. Huh? Okay, brother. Yugallabu here means the muzakkar is given priority over mourners. Okay? Huh? And what is the example? Abnai ba banati. See? Muzakkar and mourners. Abnai ba banati yadrusuna. Bil jamiati. Got the idea, brother and sister? Yadrusuna bil jamiati. Okay. That's it, brother and sisters. Next one. Let's take a tea break. Inshallah. Alhamdulillah, brothers and sisters, we are back from our break. Hope you enjoyed it. You are energized. Uh, now, the batteries are recharged. <laughs> Number 13. فَإِذَا رَيْتُمُهُمَا فَدَعُوا اللَّهَ فَدَعُوا اللَّهَ Are you with me, brothers and sisters? هُنَا Al-halu ma'zufatun. There is a hal which is ma'zuf. Are you with me, brother and sister? Is, what is the meaning of is? And then, takdiru uh, kalami, and then the estimation of the speech. Fa'iza raytumu huma mun kasifaini. What is it, brother and sister? Mun kasi. What is this moon kasi fine? Huh? Let us let us go to the root. It is ism. Huh? It is ism file. Huh? In kasafa, yan kasifu, moon kasifu. Make it dual, brother and sister. Moon kasi fani. Make it now uh, mansu. Munkasi faini. Munkasi faini. Munkasi faini. Okay, brothers and sisters. So that is munkasi faini is mansub and it is the hal. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So this is mazuf. So faiza rai tumu huma. If you see both of them, who are these both of them? Ashamsu wal kamaru. Sun and moon. In what condition you see them? In what condition, hal you see them? They are eclipsed. They are eclipsed. Munkasi fani. And became munkasi fani. That is, hal is mazuf. That is what Dr. Sad wants to draw our attention to it. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? That's it. So, is, brothers and sisters, here it means. And then, or only then, huh? are you with me? Okay, brothers well and sisters, now we come to number 14. Sallu. What is the meaning of sallu here? What kind of a word is this? Fialu Amar. From where? Salla you salli. Salla you salli. Okay, brother. Sallu Amar. Antum. Wow is your file. Hatta Yanjaliya. Okay, brother. Yanjaliya. 
an mudme hatta after hatta there is an hidden okay and that is why yanjaliya is mansub okay injala yanjali fine brother and sister yanjali means it becomes clear so what is that it huh? yanjali file dhamirun mustatru takdiruhu huwa but where does that huwa go to where does it huwa go to it's not mentioned so what is that huwa al kusufu what is it al kusufu what is al kusufu eclipse until that eclipse goes away are you with me it becomes clear got the idea fine brother al mafhum min as siyak min as siyak what is the meaning of this brother this is understood from the context al mafhum means the understanding is from the context min as siyak means context is it clear brother and sister that kusuf we understand from the context of the sentence got the idea brother and sister number 15 adkhil kull kalimatin mimma yati fi jumlatin mufidatin now this is easy brother make simple sentences in fataha in fataha al bab five in kasara na you can say waqa al zujaj ala al ard fa fa in kasara fa in kasara fine in kalaba in kalaba sayara to say takassara zujaj fine laula brother sister we can write down i want to write down laula hayatu wala danisti abaru wala zurtu kabaraki ha kabaraki wal habibu yuzar ha are you with me brothers and sisters laula al hayaw la adanis tiwar wala zurtu kabaraki wal habibu yuzar but you can write anything you want you can write down anything you want you can say laula al islamu la dallan nas laula al islamu la dallan nas laula al ilmu la jahilan nas the people would become illiterate the, the people would have become illiterate okay anything you wish to write brothers and sisters inshallah uh, alhamdulillah i wrote down brothers and sisters laula ni'matul islam min allah are you listening brothers and sisters laula ni'matul islam min allah but islam is a niya it is not your right it's a gift of allah it's a mercy of allah that we are muslim and we have our deen islam huh? laula ni'matul islam min allah huh? lakunna miladali we would have been we were gone astray huh? i i wrote this sentence when i was trying to do it you know anything you can come out is beautiful brothers and sisters alhamdulillah we finish and we go to adasu salisu wal shirun okay brother this is form brothers and sisters what is this iftaala what is it iftaala are you with me form 8 huh? what is extra in this brothers and sisters Okay, brothers and sisters. Since we have 
done this before. If you remember, have we done it? Of course, we did some practice. Eh? Not in detail, but we did some practice. Okay, brothers and sisters. So, it's very easy. Nazara, Nazara, to look. Eh? Bring it into form eight. Intazara, to wait. Eh? Intazara. Now, brother, intazar. Intazar hai tera. Dil be karar hai mera. Are you with me? <laughs> Brothers and sisters? Huh? So, such a common words. Huh? So, intizar is iftial. Intazara. Now, what is so special about this? Uh, this baab. Huh? Brothers and sisters? This is what is so special. Three things. Number one, brother, I, I take the easiest thing first. Huh? Wow changes into ta. Are you with me? Wow changes into ta. So if we have wasala, brothers and sisters, what will happen? Actually, it will be ev. The sala. And then wa will change into ta and it will become and what will happen now? Itta sala. So you got to watch. Huh? The wa changes into ta, number one. Number two. Okay, brother. The, the, and dal. If they come, are you with me, and sisters? Then they change into dal. They change into dal. So verb is zahama. And it will be is the hama. And it will change into is the hama. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So anytime they the 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 and dal, it will change into dal. Okay? Number three, brothers and sisters. Very easy to remember because it's in uh, uh, order of alphabet, swad, twad, uh, ta, and za. They will change into, what will they change into, brother? Ta. Uh, okay. Okay, brother. Look at this, brother. The verb is safa. Hmm? Okay. It should be is tafa. Are you with me? Now this ta will change into. Okay, brother, sister. The ta will change into is Are you with me? It will change into istafa. Wa will change into ta and ta will change. Huh? Into da. And here also ta will change into Brother and sister, ta. Everything is explained in the key very beautifully. Huh? 
Everything is explained in the key very beautifully. So once you know this, brothers and sisters, it's very easy. Huh? Why it is very easy? If I say it is very easy, because we have done a lot of conjugation. And if you have done your conjugation, you will find that it is halwa puri, brother. Okay. Let's go to the verbs huh? in the dars, brothers and sisters. Okay. It is explained in the dars also. Okay. Number three. What page is it, brothers and sisters? 197. Al Mahdi and Mudarya, Amar, Isam Fail and Mastar. Intazara, Yamtaziru. Intazir, Muntazir, Isam Fail, Intizar. Now, brother, Alhamdulillah, we can do it. There is no difficulty in this. Ishtaraka, to participate. Intazara is to wait. Ishtaraka is to participate. Yashtariku, Ishtarik, Mushtarik, participant, Ishtirak, participation. Imtahana, to exam. Yamtahinu, Imtahin, Mumtahin. What is the meaning of Mumtahin? Examiner. And then examination, Imtihan. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Ijtama. What is the meaning of Ijtama? To gather. To come together. To join each other. Ijtama. Yajtamiu. I'm doing it fast, brother. You will do it at home, inshallah. If you can participate with me verbally, that is excellent. Rest of it, you will do it at home, inshallah. Ijtama. You should be able to say Yajitamiu and Ishtami and then Mujitamiu and Ishtima. So you should be able to do it mentally, you know, and you can verbally say these things, brother. Now comes Nakis, brother. What is it? Iltaka. What is it? Iltaka. Meaning is same. Huh? Ijitama and iltaka, the meaning is same, brothers and sisters, which is to come together or join each other. Yaltaki, yaltaki, iltaki, and then isam fail, molta, king, nakis, brother. It is mankus, nakis. What will be the master? Iltika un. What is original? Iltika yun. Alhamdulillah. But then now here is something that requires special attention. Huh? What is that, brother? Ajwaf. What is it? When the ajwaf comes into form 8, we got to be a little careful. What is it, brother and sister? Ikhtar. What is the meaning of ikhtar? To choose or to select huh? or pick out. Ikhtar, what will be the mudariya? Yakhtaru. Now, this, you got to remember. Ikhtar, yakhtar. Ikhtar, yakhtar. And what will be the amar, brother? See? So it looks so different, brother. Because it is ajwaf. Huh? Okay. And what will be some file? Mukhtar. Huh? It will be Mukhtar. Mukhtar Saab. Huh? In Urdu. Huh? There is a position of somebody in the office, Mukhtar. Huh? Fine. You will, inshallah. And what will be the Master. Ikhtiyar. See, now it changes. How? Huh? Look at it, brother. Ikhti. As soon as T came, that alif changed into Ya. Huh? Ikhtiyar. Huh? But that A has to be there. 
The only thing is that this Aleph, which is actually Ya, uh, changed into Ya, because the Kasra came. So, Ikhtiya Rum, that is your master. So, this thing is to be washed in form, in the form 8, okay? Ikhtar, Ikhtar. It will be Ikhtar, brother. Ikhtar only. How did it become Ikhtar? Brother, we come here. Okay, brother, you drop this, you bring Hamzatul Wasal. You give us Sukun here. What happens when you give us Sukun? We get two Sukuns now. So we got to drop it. Got the idea? Then it becomes ikhtar. Inshallah. Tamil al mishal thumma unkul. This is nakala yankulu. Means transport or carry, okay, or shift, okay, thummankul. Afal al atiyata ila bab iftala. Fine, brother and sister. Zahama. Huh? What is the. Zahama is form one. Form eight became. Ez dahama. Ez dahama. This is form eight. Now let's read. Iza kanat faul iftala. What is it? Iza. Okay. Kanat. Not was, is, because of Isa. If Fau is a ism kana, okay, Dalan is khabar kana. If the fa of iftala is dal, au dal, au za, ubdilat. What is the meaning of ubdilat? Changed. Huh? What is ubdilat? It's majhul. What is the verb? Abdala yubdilu. Huh? Huh? Form 4. Abdala yubdilu to change. Huh? Ubdilat. Ta'u. Ta'uhu. Its ta is changed into dalan. You got the idea, brother and sister? I wrote it down. Huh? But the zana. What is the meaning of zana? Huh? To adore, to decorate. To adore, to decorate. Huh? That is the meaning of zana. So, what is, what is the form 8? Is, is dana. It, it should have been is tana. It should have been is tana. But then that ta changes into dal. Is dana. Got the meaning of it, brother and sister? Here is another beautiful one, brother. Zakara. It will change into? Is Dakara. Are you with me? It will change into? Is Dakara. Got the idea? And then is Dakara will change into? Okay, brother. Is Dakara will change into? Because these two are coming together. Is kara or iddakara? Both possibilities are there. Huh? But what is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of this, brother? Tazakara. To remember. Huh? The meaning is tazakara. Iddakara. Fine, brother. This is very nice, brother. The ah. Are you with me, brother? Da. Okay. If it is da, brother and sisters, let us see. The ah will change into id ta ah. Are you with me? Id ta ah. Because if ta'ala, remember? 
extra is the and and hamzatul wasal. So the a will become id the a. Now you will put them. Then this ta will change into dal. So it became id the a. And now we will have id the a. Huh? What is the meaning of id the a? To claim. To claim something. To lay a claim on something. A claim. Huh? To lay a claim on something. Da is to invite or call. And idda to claim something. You have to do it. Everybody has to do it on their own. If it is not mentioned here, my mother and sister, if it is not mentioned here, it means the onus is on you to do it. If I start doing it, it will take extra time. But for the sake of fun. Brother, for the sake of fun. Okay? Idda. Huh? What will be the mudarya? Yadda i. What will be? Yadda i. Got the idea? What is actually Yadda i you? Now make Amar. Sister Madina. Make Amar. Brother Hassan, what shall I do? Chops. Two chops. Huh, brother? And I have to bring Hamza back. Hamza. So what is the result now? Now if you are sitting on a table and drinking tea, take a piece of paper, brother, and, and conjugate. Huh? Make use of your time, even five minutes, with us just piece of paper and scribble, brother. And then, inshallah, you have those blue books that we have given you, uh, and the red book that we have given you, 16,000 verbs, and check yourself, brother. Uh, every now and then. Okay. Fine, brothers and sisters. So here we are in number three here. Okay. Safa will become Istafa. What will be the mudarya? Yastafi. Huh? And what will be Amar? Istafi. Istafi. Huh? Same process. Uh, but then same process. Okay? Same process, brother. But this is very important verb. What is the brother and sister? Istafa. Huh? Very important verb. Huh? Yes. Tafi. Yes, Tafi. Okay. Now, brothers and sisters. Amar? Fine. What is the meaning of Istafa? To choose. Huh? Same thing. Ikhtar. To choose. Okay. This is a very important word, but it comes in the Quran. Huh? Yastafi. What will be the Islam file? Mustafin. Mustafin. What will be Islam Maful? What is the meaning of Mustafa? Chosen. Selected. Muhammad Mustafa. But what is Mustafa? Uh, Islam Maful from. Form A. Daraba. Huh? Okay, brother. What will be actual Daraba? It will be Id Taraba. And then Ta will change into Ta. So it will become Id Taraba. Are you with me, brother and sisters? Do you think you will find it difficult? We have done it before, brother. Huh? Just remember that Ta changes into uh, the ta changes into ta in this brother. Okay, and then the ta changes into dal. Okay, and then the vowel changes into ta. 
No, it is very beautifully explained in the key. And here also, it's very clear, brother. So, Id Taraba means, brother, Id Taraba means to become confused and disturbed. To become confused, disturbed, and disorganized. Huh? To become confused, disturbed, and disorganized. Huh? Now is Zalama. Huh? What will be the changes in Zalama? Brothers and sisters? Ith ta. Start with ta. Huh? And then the ta will change into ta. Huh? Ith ta lama. Okay, fine. Now, brother, further change. The ta will, uh, will be assimilated uh, into the. So it will become but when you come across these things it should not put you off. Uh, if you practice then you will be able to find it. Brothers and sisters you have hello tamari. Are you with me? You have hello tamari. Take advantage of it, brother and sister. In this case, you can go to hello tamarin and check it. And inshallah, work from there. Fine, brother. Tala'a. Huh? To rise, go up. Bring it in form. Eight. It tala'a. Two thought. Got the idea, brother? Next one, brother and sisters. Waka. Will become ittaka. Ivtaka and then ittaka. Very important verb. This is the most important verb in form 8, brother, when it comes to Quran. Waka, huh? ittaka. No, Sister Madina, I would request you to conjugate this. Ittaka, madi mudarya amar. Conjugate, brother. Because it comes in the Quran and you want to be strong. You have to conjugate. Ittaka, yattaki. Okay. What will be the ismin file? Muttaqin. Muttaqin, make it jama muddakar salam. Muttaquna. And then muttaqin. Alif lam mim, zalik al kitabu la iba fi. Hudalil muttaqin. So we should know, brother. Uh, we should know what is this muttaqeen. It is uh, jar majroor. Lil muttaqeen. Uh, maybe I should write down, brother. You take out you take out uh, harf uh, jar from here. It will become Al Muttakuna. Are you with me? What is singular? Muttakin. How did you get Muttakin? Ittaka, Yattaki. Huh? Okay. I'm running out of space. Amar will be and then some file will be it will mutaki yun and because it is mankus we'll drop this, we'll drop this and we will give one extra Thing. So it becomes muttaqin. But if you do not do conjugation, brother, you will never understand this. So this is, I emphasize tonight, you should work on it. 
Madi Mudarya Amar. And if you become strong, brothers and sisters, inshallah, let me assure you, it's a joy to do this. It's fun to do it, you know. Let's do it, brothers and sisters, quickly. Ittaka, ittakaya, ittakau, ittakat, ittakata, ittakaina, ittakaita. So we know what to do, huh? Tatumatum, titumatunna, tuna. Then, brother, yattaki, yattakiyani, yattakuna, tattaki, tattakiyani, and then yattakina. So easy, brother, so easy. Huh? And then anta, tattaki, tattakiyani, tattakuna, tattakina, tattakiyani, tattakina, attaki, nattaki. Now, the problem can be, you know, encountered when you make amar. So what will be the amar of uh, anta? Ittaki. And then, Antuma ittakiya. It, now. Uh, antum. Ittaku. Uh, ittaku. Uh, okay, let's write down. How will you define this? Tell Amrin. Mabniun ala hadifinu. Khalas. But can't you get, brother? If you know that antum is yattakuna, then it becomes easy. But if you cannot do this yattakuna, you have a problem, brother, then you got to work hard and brush up your conjugation. Are you with me, brother and sister? Yes, sister Mamuna? Where, where, sister? No, it, you know, you, there are sometimes, this is the right, brother, is zalama. Za, za. You get, instead of is talama, it becomes is zalama. Huh? You know, there are certain uh, letters of alphabet, when they come close to each other, you get a idhika. Huh? And I'll, I'll show you some of them next time, inshallah. Uh, especially the dal and ta, you know, uh, I'll, I'll give you example tomorrow, inshallah. Okay. Brother, quickly, brother, I have only little time left. Vasala will become ittasala. We know that, brother. Ittasala. What will be the amar? Itta, amar ittasil. Ittasil. Okay, it's some file. Muttasil. Brother, we know it, huh? Okay, now it's very important. Wahada. But the wahada means to be alone. Huh? Wahada means to be alone, isolated, singular. Change it into form 8, it becomes ittahada. What is the meaning of ittahada? To unite. Uh, make uh, master of ittahada, ittihad. Huh? Unity. Ittihad. Very common word. Ittihad. Brother, wafika. Huh? What is the meaning of wafika? To be suitable. Huh? To be appropriate. Huh? That is the meaning of wafika. Huh? How will you change this into? Ittafaka. Huh? Ittafaka. What is the meaning of ittafaka? To agree. Huh? To agree with someone on something, you know. Ittafaka. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So, Inshallah, you'll do it tomorrow. Inshallah, you'll do it tonight. And tomorrow, we'll do the main lesson. This lesson is also a little long. It may take us uh, more than one session. But let's see how fast we can go. Huh? If you will practice at home, read the key. Huh? And do the conjugation. Things will become very easy. And you will enjoy this lesson. There are beautiful things in the lesson and beautiful Quranic verses will come, inshallah. Okay, brothers and sisters, 
Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatahu wa fil akhirati hasanatahu wa kina adhaab anna Rabbana hab lana min azwajina wa zuriyatina qurrata ayunin wa ja'alna lil muttaqina imama Rabbana takabal minna inna ka anta samiyul alim wa tuba alayna inna ka anta tawabu rahim subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifuna wa salamun ala al-mursalin walhamdulillahi rabbil alim